Hey, what's up guys? Well, the last few days I've been um, messing around with a bunch of eBay stuff. I listed almost $300 worth of parts. <laughs> and actually, I, um, I sold a computer on Craigslist for $60. bucks. Woohoo! So, I'm trying to collect up some cash so I can buy a graphics card for the next upcoming project. I still haven't swapped the... Uh, pump and reservoir around in this one I might just go ahead and buy a new pump and reservoir because that one's kind of worrying me I'm not sure if it's gonna die on me or not and I don't want that to happen but um today the wife got back from her parents house and she had a PC in her hands <laughs> and uh, first for a second there I, I kinda got excited I thought maybe she uh, scored a PC for me, but it turns out that it's her dad's PC, and um, obviously it's old. It's running Vista, and it's got a original Phenom one, you know, uh, X4 in it. So it's not terribly bad, but it's still old, and he's had it since it was new. I'm sure it was pretty nice and fast and awesome when he got it I mean it's got a it's got a red stripe on there it's got to be it's got to be fast right <laughs> uh, but um and it's shiny look at that anyways um everything he's busted everything he's got some tape right here trying to hold that together it's like it's barely starting like when he powers it on it barely boots up and um it's super slow and stuff the first thing I noticed when I came around back here is uh, it still has the quality assurance sticker from the factory. Look at that. It's not broken. He has never opened it up in the 10 years that he's owned it. <laughs> you can see the dirt through the screen. I'm kind of scared to open it up. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. So um, let's go ahead and cut this QA sticker. Hopefully this thing can be cleaned up. I'm not talking about physically cleaned up, but I'm talking about the hardware as far as, you know, viruses and the, what kind of shape, you know, the, who knows if it, the hard drive's ever been, you know, defragmented or anything like that, optimized. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Hmm. I guess it's not as bad as it could be. <laughs> that is pretty gross. Oh my gosh, my allergies are gonna be crazy. All right, well, let's take a closer look and then we'll uh, take it outside and give it a good blowout. So, we can write pimp a toe. Oh, that's a good thing. Look at we got four gigabytes of RAM installed and we got two open slots. So uh hmm. Maybe I'll do them a favor and bump them up to eight eight gigabytes. I got I got four gigabytes sitting over there that I'm not really using. Let's take it outside, give it a good blowout, get rid of this dust. First things first. got this thing blown out I guess the next thing is to plug it in and see exactly what happens when it tries to turn on or turns on resuming windows oh man it's got a Windows Vista uh, sticker but he upgraded to Windows 7 that's that's a good thing super slow booting so Windows wasn't cooperating, so I'm starting it in safe mode. The computer just wasn't responding at all. My, I didn't, I didn't have any mouse or keyboard. So hopefully I can get something going here. I still got no keyboard and no mouse. I even uh, have this little adapter for the PS2 port in case the USB won't, you know, isn't loading. But even that's not working. Nothing. Huh. 
I plugged it into the front USB and I got mouse. Haha. -ha. All right. When in doubt, just keep uh, plugging into different holes. First of all, we need to get rid of shit like a vast. Let me turn this air conditioner off because it's loud. All right, here's what's installed on the PC. He's got a Phenom running at 1.8 gigahertz. Hmm. Maybe I should give him that other Phenom that I have, the 90, what's it, 9750? That one runs at 2.4 gigahertz. And then I could bump him up to 8 gigabytes. And, uh, man, he would probably be amazed at the difference. So let's check device manager. Realtek USB card reader. That's the only thing that's got a little deal next to it. Maybe I should just shut it down and upgrade the hardware first so we actually have some horsepower to, to do this. <laughs> uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to shut it down and um, upgrade the hardware then go from there. I poked around a little bit more on the internet and there were people actually saying that this board supports AM3 CPUs. So I think I might pull that Athlon 2 X4 640 that I have in the HTPC and give it to my father-in-law and then up upgrade the HTPC with a Phenom 2. I think that's my my plan right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and flip this PC on its side and um, let's see, unplug this and we'll do some uh, quick hardware upgrades. Kind of just going off what people said on the internet about this thing running an AM3 CPU. And like I said, I could not find a BIOS update. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's try it. Hey. Hey, we got a gateway menu. All right. Splash screen, I mean, not menu. Looks like it's booting up. All right. 8 gigabytes of RAM. I can already tell that the Windows logo is faster. <laughs> oh, the mouse is working in the rear ports. That's a good sign. It's a little bit loud in my garage right now because the house air conditioner, you know, blower is going and the family won't let me turn off the air conditioner. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Glary Utilities. So I've been using this program for at least three years and it's not intrusive. It doesn't, it has a free version which I'm using but it doesn't like prompt you to upgrade all the time to the paid version. Um, if, you wear, if you run like malware bytes, none of this stuff is um, caught in you know, the virus sweep or anything like that. So I think it's a good utility. I just ran it on this machine, running the machine in safe mode because if I run it in regular mode, it's just a mess. You know, he's got so many programs running in the background, it just basically seizes up. 313 problems found in the registry. Most of the time, those are in empty registry um, entries, and they just don't need to be there. That's from like installing a program and uninstalling it, and there's things left, there's folders left in the registry that are just not needed. So um, this is actually the most I've ever seen. 313 is crazy. Usually at the most I see like 79 or 83 or something like that. So um, there's quite a bit of uh, temporary files found too. So um, we're going to go ahead and repair all this stuff, clean it up, and then we're going to install malware bytes. Well, that was quick. We already have two threats identified. Getting the registry, we got a lot of hits. So far we're at 37. 
What's bullshit is that he's running a vast. Oh my God, 640. All right, it looks like it topped out at 644 threats identified. And right now we're trying to quarantine them. So let's go to quarantine. We will select them all and we will delete them all. Done. All right, now we'll shut down that. Let's go back to Galeria Utilities and we will run this again. See what we get. 56 problems found. That's probably 56 viruses that malware bites removed and now it's got 56 registry entries where those pups were removed. That's how I understand it. I'm, like I said, a little disclaimer, I'm not a software guy. I'm a hardware guy that likes to uh, screw around with modding PCs. So if anyone watches this video and uh, is shaking their head saying, man, that idiot doesn't know what he's talking about, you're right, I don't. <laughs> but I think I might be able to get this computer working again for him, hopefully. It's kind of been a long road so far. All right, the second round of Glary Utilities wasn't as bad. 56 problems in the registry, no disk repair issues. Oh man, I'm amazed how people just don't know how to keep their PCs clean and protected. It's just like anything else. A bathroom, a kitchen, your backyard. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta keep it clean and organized or it just falls apart. Still taking a lot of time to boot up, which is super annoying. All right, we're finally into the desktop. It didn't take a crazy amount of time, but it was pretty bad. All right, guys, this is already like really much more pleasurable, like just clicking on that menu and it opens up super fast. We can go to control panel, that opens up super fast. All this was like, just took forever to come up before. So I've done a ton of updating on this PC, ran all kinds of Windows 7 updates, updated a ton of his software. Um, I wish I knew what programs he still used and which ones he didn't use, because I would delete the programs that are, aren't being used. But right now I'm gonna do a couple little hardware things. He still has a, um, dial up internet card in here and I'm going to take that out because he doesn't need that anymore. Old school. We're going to put in this disk drive. Out with the old and with the new. Alright, that was easy enough. And I'll turn this thing back on, do a couple more updates, try to get that card reader to be updated in the device manager, and then we'll be done. It's actually running really nice. And it is running a lot better, and it looks a lot better too. I took all the stickers off, I cleaned it up, I fixed this flap right here that's broken. I went inside and turned off the air conditioner so we don't have to listen to this blower. It's still kind of early in the morning, so the family's not going to complain too much about having the air turned off. I mean, that's pretty slow boot up right there. But it seems like it's um, actually a lot smoother boot up than the last time I did it. The last time I did it, um, well, I can't speak yet, but the screensaver stayed black and the little taskbar loaded up and it stayed like that for probably, I don't know, 30 seconds or longer. Like I said, it's kind of early. So I'm drinking coffee right now. Well, that was smooth. Um, I didn't have any kind of weird black screen stuff going on. A bunch of little quirks with this computer. That's why I just want a fresh install. It's actually running really nice. I can grab the menus, all that stuff. I even got the card reader working. The card reader had a little yellow explanation point on the um, device manager deal and I uninstalled the driver and got the new driver and uh, installed it and then the card reader worked. 
But um, I get my my hard drive, the new hard drive, in a couple days. Um, should be here on Tuesday, and after that, this thing's going back to the father-in-law.